Hello and welcome to 3D Printonics. In today's video, we will learn how to assemble the enclosure for Prusa i3 MK3S bare upgrade provided by 3D Printronics. In your printer enclosure kit, you will receive 12 loose extrusions as you can see in this video. Four of the longest extrusions as you can see here will form the four vertical corners of your frame. So four longest extrusions will become the four corners or the vertical extrusions of your frame and the remaining eight extrusions will form the base of the frame like this and similarly top of the frame. So this is same for both the enclosures that is the enclosure which is provided for the extended printer extended height version that is 340 mm version and also for the standard printer in both the enclosure kits you will receive extrusions like this as you can see that the eight extrusions will have button head m5 screws in them like this these are already we have already made the m5 threaded holes in them as you can see and we will provide these extrusions to you like this the screws will already be inserted in the eight extrusions and the four extrusions which will form the corner will have the holes drilled in them as you can see this so through this hole you will put the allen key for making the joints so all four extrusions have these kind of holes in the next step we will show you how to assemble the frame also you can see that all these four extrusions will have m5 tapping will have m5 tapping in one end only so this end one end of all the four profiles will have m5 tapping so you have to be careful that while assembling the corners this tabbed hole will be will come on the top side it should not go like this it should be on the top side it should not be on the bottom one so first take any two extrusions out of these eight and one extrusion out of these four meanwhile you can remove these extrusions now we can see we have these three extrusions here we will take one of the extrusion and this is the longest one now we will insert this screw as you can see this screw in this groove so you can see how it is done this is how it is inserted and from the other hand where we have this hole we will tight this screw so you have to tight it sufficiently so that this so that this extrusion doesn't move here and there once you have joined this extrusion to this one we will we will now join this second extrusion on this same corner so for that we will tilt this and we will again insert this screw in this groove one of the corner is ready in this similar way you will make the other three corners second third and fourth one on this side so, so now you can assemble the other corner on this side we will take another vertical extrusion first and we will again insert it into the screw here we will insert the second vertical extrusion into this screw like this 
and then from the from this side we will tighten the screw now you can see that this extrusion this second vertical extrusion has been joined to this extrusion we will insert the other short extrusion and now we will tighten the screw from the other end now this way you can see that we have made the two corners with two vertical extrusions now similarly we will join two other vertical extrusions one on this corner and one on this corner now this is how one joint looks like the bottom joint now if you insert the vertical extrusion you can see how it goes now the screw gets into this groove and then you will tighten the screws from through these holes now this is how your frame will look like once you have assembled the all four vertical extrusions along with the base then we will insert the panels acrylic panels and after that we will insert the top four extrusions and the door in front now first you will install the right side panels and all the panels are marked as you can see here like they have been marked like this so the right side panel from the front side from the front of you can see that here we have a cut on this so this will fit like this the panels will fit like this right so it will be like this right so this way your right side panels are mounted now you are mounting the back side panels and in the same way you will mount the other panels now we are doing the left side panels and your frame will now look like this now make sure that all the four vertical extrusions have a thread on top of this hole you can see that there is a thread so you have just have to be careful that this hole which has a thread in which screw can fit will be on top while assembling the frame they should not go down now you will fit uh, the top extrusions one here one on the left side and another on the right side and you can see that these extrusions already have screws fitted in them so they will mount like this the screw will go in this groove and the uh, extrusion will fit on top of this acrylic and then you will use the allen key through this hole and you will tighten the screw so this you have to do in the same method you will have to do in this extrusion and the one on the left side and the other one on the right side now you can see that all the all these top 3 extrusions have been fitted now once you have uh, made this much of the frame we will install the front extrusion so now you can see that the front extrusion has been installed now before mounting the uh, first top panel you will use the screws supplied with uh, the kit that is button head m5 into 10 mm and this drop in t nut you will fit it like this right and on the other end also and you will rotate it so that this t nut will fit in the groove of this extrusion now you will see how it will be mounted so now you see that this t nut has gone into the groove and this screw this hole these holes will come on top of these extrusions right two screws to secure this panel to the frame so once you have installed this panel 
now it is turn to install the this one so here you can see that there is a slight cut in this panel so this cut will fit with this cut here so this is how you will install it same way as you have installed the other one so now you can see that this panel is also installed you will use this screw it will go through and through these t-nuts here now we will install the front doors only so these are your door panels the door uh, will come assembled like this and the acrylic is already installed in this now what you have to do is you will have to install two hinges in each door so hinges will one suppose on this side and another one on this side once you install the hinges in these doors then you will install these doors in the final enclosure the hinges will come like this with pre-installed screws and t-nuts so you will measure 150 from here and you will install it like this we are providing you drop-in t-nuts which can drop directly into the slots but in case if these t-nuts don't go in these slots you can also insert this from the end like this so from the end you can insert them and then you can select at 150 mark and then tighten these screws so 150 from bottom and 150 from top side same way you will install the other two hinges 150 from bottom and 150 from top side now once you have installed the hinges the panels will look like this up now the door will look like this and you you can see that these are the t-nuts here and the hinges so you simply have to insert these t-nuts into the slots and then just tighten the screws you can also insert the hinges like this from the top if the t-nuts go if the t-nuts don't insert in the slots from the front now both the doors have been installed this part here is for the power cable you can insert it like this insert your cable and then leave it this is how your final enclosure will look like with acrylic mounted on top and these door panels that you will install this locking mechanism it works like this simply we also provide you these plastic parts so these plastic parts basically go in between the acrylic and the aluminium extrusion just to keep this thing tight otherwise it will be slightly loose so this is an optional item if you want you can insert these plastic parts like this if you don't want you can also leave it right so it is not a necessary item and this will complete your enclosure.